What's good people? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the failed M M Mikhailo Mudrik deal. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit bit pissed off that we didn't get the deal done. It's not so much that we haven't spent 100 million on a 21 year old. It's the fact that this guy has been twerking, to our, twerking for us since November. We've had an injury from the World Cup from the second game when we knew that Jesus was injured. Second game in the World Cup. So we're talking the end of November, start of December. We knew that damn well that he was out. So this is my problem. I haven't got a problem that we haven't spent so big on a 21-year-old that last summer, going into the 2022 season, he was worth a million pound. But when you look at it like that, yeah, Chelsea got one over on us. But what, what the worst thing about the deal is, why the fuck did we give him the chance to? And I'm sorry to swear, guys, but I'm I, I'm actually pissed off with this one. Because if you look at Liverpool's deal with Gapo, Man United were favourites to get Gapo. All throughout the World Cup and all that, it's all Man United, Man United, Man United. Links, 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 links. Liverpool put the money down, get the deal done before the transfer window is open. He's already training with Liverpool before January. Once January comes, the deal is announced. Voila, he gets to play for them the next available game. Why have Arsenal not done this? And that's my problem. That's why I'm annoyed and that's why I'm pissed off. Because Arteta said he wanted his man. He's picked out his number one target and it was Mudrick. No one knew about this kid. And he's played... 29 times for his team, Shaq Cardinets, scoring and setting up something like 22 times I worked it out. So in all, all in all, he's got quite a good record for, for Shaq Car. He's played six times in the Champions League this year, set up, scored about three or four goals, it was and set up a couple. So he's made about four to six goal contributions in the in the Champions League too. So that's kind of that's kind of beefed him up for everyone to look at now. You know what I mean? That's that's why there's a hype about him. But at the end of the day, we needed this player wrapped up ages ago. So we pussyfooted around, put in two bids. Like all the bids, why are the bids going in in January? Once we're, we're second week into the transfer window, we've not made a signing. We've got Spurs today, later on, Man United next week. Then there's a couple of easier games, but there's no easy game in the Premier League anyway. And then we play City in, in February. So imagine now we lose to Spurs, lose to Man United, lose to City. That's nine points we've dropped. We've got no one to come on off the bench. I know it's Milton Mill Smith Rose just come back, but who's to say he's going to be the same player he was last year? We don't know. It's all if, buts, and maybes. So that's my main problem with it. We've allowed Chelsea to come in two weeks into the transfer window. Now they've got a whole load of injuries and they need a winger. You know what I mean? They need an attacking player. We don't really need a winger. We needed a Jesus replacement, if, we, if we're being honest. But yeah, I'm not going to rant about it too much. You know what I mean? The kid's an unproven talent. Who's to say he's going to come to go to Chelsea and actually start smashing the league up? We don't know, innit? So, at the end of the day, I'm a bit annoyed about it, but I'm not going to go crazy. My main thing is, why have they not backed Arteta? That was, that's what my main thing was for the video now. Because this guy said he wants him from months ago. He's been twerking for us for over two months. Three days ago was the last time he actually put something up on his Instagram post. So, about Arsenal. So, it's like, come on, guys, man. Get your finger out your arse and bid the bid. We could have had this player wrapped up the 1st of January if we were proactive. Like what we, like what we did in the summer. We were proactive, went out and got up players early, got the deals done, had them in early doors. Didn't have to worry about it. Why have we waited and still... In the second week of January into the transfer window, we're making our third bid for the player. We could have made all our bids November, December, December. Boom. Now we know how much we need. Come come, come January, the deal was already accepted. Signed, deal. He would have been playing for us against Tottenham now. But no, we ain't done it. So yeah, man. Bit disappointed with the way we move in the transfers. We move like we're a small club, man. That's, that's my only discipline. I'm not, I don't care that we've not signed Mudrick because Mudrick was an unproven talent up until this year. No one even knew his name. You know what I mean? And that's not me being nasty about it. The guy was worth one million a year ago going into the 2022 season. 
So there's no way he's worth 100 million euros now. There's no bloody way. But that's what they wanted for him. If we were serious, we could have got this wrapped up in before January was done and Chelsea wouldn't have been able to come in and do what they've done. But hats off to Chelsea. They put the money on the table. They've got their player in it. So I'm not going to cry about it. Like I said, he's a young talent. He could have been fantastic for us. He could have been shit. We don't know, innit? So my main thing is now, who do we sign? We've got two weeks left of the transfer window. We know we need a couple of players. We need a Thomas Party replacement. So what are we going to do? But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go on too much about it. I just thought I'd put a little video about the, the fact that we not signed Modric and the disappointment I've got. I've been watching a few videos last night, like Turkish. He was he was proper upset about it, man. You could tell by, by his video. Curtis Shaw, same thing. I watched his video, pissed off about it. So, yeah, I thought, let me put my pennies worth in. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And to the next time, this is Guna Motley, the YouTube correspondent, signing off.